Hey guys, David McCabe here, Transformation Specialist at Transform Fitness. First off, I would like to thank everyone for your comments, your likes, shares, personal messages from our last video, Buddy and Body Shaming. Uh, today's video will be about something that is essential in what you do, whether you're training for something in particular or training for your own health, and it is consistency. So consistency, everyone likes the idea of uh, fitness or fitness plans or getting fit, you know, which is fantastic. I'm all up for people getting fit, okay? I think it's great for everybody's health and I think it's great that now the general public are more aware of their health and their fitness. The only thing is that it's, it's now become an idea. So what it is that because everything is the way it is right now, especially in the fitness industry, you can start a class wherever you want, whatever time you want. You can start with a PT whenever you want, or you could just join a gym. All right, it's entirely up to you. But what lacks in a lot of people's ambition is their consistency. So regardless of what you're looking to do, whether it is to lose five pounds or lose 5% body fat, these things take time, especially that 5% body fat. That takes time. That could take anywhere between... I don't know, four and 10 weeks. So it just depends, right? Now, with consistency, that can happen very quickly, right? With no consistency, with lack of with consistency, it can just take forever, okay? So one thing I will say to you is that these are probably my top tips to try and keep a very good consistency with your own training plan, okay? So number one would be, uh, uh, your day does not start in the morning. It starts the day before or the night before. So you make out your plan for tomorrow. That's basically what you're doing. So what you do, let's say you know what your day is like tomorrow, which everybody kind of normally does. Whether it is, I have to drop the kids to school, I have about an hour here, and then I have to do this, I have to do that, or I have to go to work. When I come home from work, I can do this, or I have my appointment with Transform Fitness, and I'll tip into there, I get me training done, bish, bash, bosh. Right, everyone has a schedule for that day, okay? So normally, that's just the way it goes, but always have a plan. Never, never start your day going, I'll wing it. Because if you wing it, it ain't going to happen. It's not going to work for you. You always have to have a plan. You always have to have a structure. So even if, let's say, you do your own training and you're in a gym, you have to have a plan ready. And, 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 and don't be afraid to mess around with certain things or, or do different types of hits or do different types of training sessions. But always plan ahead for what you're going to do. Okay? My next tip would be is always schedule your workout in your day. So if you're training three times a week, then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Make sure it's scheduled in your day. Make sure you make the time to put it in, right? Things happen. If your schedule doesn't allow it that day, something has come up, which things happen, then put it in the next day and, and, and just move things around, okay? It's, it's not a big deal. Don't make it a, a, a mountain when it's just a molehill or a storm in a teacup. Just structure it and, 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 and move on. It, it don't get bogged down by it because if you do that then it just becomes something bigger than it actually is okay so literally just set out a plan set out your training whether it's resistance a hit your cardio and make sure it's structured and go and execute it fucking dominate that shit so you go in and do your resistance do your cardio do your abs done finished that is it now the next thing the third thing is always set a goal always set a goal and stick to it so if you're going to be consistent you have to stay on top of this the whole time the whole time so you need to keep going week on week day on day month on month i have to do this this is my plan this is my own personal goal this is what i need to do so when you're doing it you structure your nutrition plan you follow it 100% of the tea, whether you've done it yourself and done the research or whether you got it from us guys at transform fitness or whether you got it from somebody else not a shopping list not a shopping list. If you're going to a trainer, he's giving you a shopping list, leave. I've talked about this in a previous video, leave. If you can't get a nutrition plan off a trainer, then he's not qualified to give you one, leave. Go, good luck. Now, that's my three top tips for staying consistent, okay? And one thing I'm gonna leave you with is that inconsistency 
is a constant road to failure. Remember that, okay? Now, until the next time, folks, uh, if you have any questions, hit them in the comments, give it a like and a share. It'll be on YouTube in the next couple of minutes or hours. It'll be up there. Um, but if you have any ideas for the next video, put it in the comments below or send us a message and uh, we'll get right on top of it. Until then, guys, have a great weekend and mind yourselves.